Hello everybody and welcome to Tatiana Creativity Time. Jeez, I don't even know what I'm calling myself anymore. Whoops. Okay, let's start again. Good morning everybody and welcome to my live video Creativity Time with Tatiana. I am Tatiana Tobin, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator here in Port Macquarie. It's a gorgeous sunshine day and it's wonderful day to be crafting at home. I'm just going to grab my iPad while people are low getting on and say hi when you come and join me. And I'm just setting it all up on my iPad so that I can see your comments as we go. Hello Sherry, thank you for joining me. I'm very excited. Today is, I've been up, I was up at midnight. I was still up at midnight, should I say. I was ordering the new paper pumpkin kit that we can get worldwide. Now, if you don't know what that is, please let me know and I will explain that. And it's very exciting. Hey Tanya, thank you for joining me. Um, so I've ordered my paper pumpkin kit. I'm so excited. Hi Amy from the US. Thanks for joining me. It's lovely to see you here. I'm just going to quickly share this video and then we will get some crafting on. Um, today I'm going to show a technique that perhaps isn't as easy to do without all the equipment but I've been told it can be done with post-it notes. Um, we are going to make a floating frame card which was very popular thanks to the you haven't ordered yours yet. Oh I'll get in quick I think it's I've been told today that it was only 4,000 ordered of paper pumpkin kits for Australia. Don't know how true that is. Oh South Pacific in fact so that's Australia and New Zealand. But we shall see. I think it's going to be an amazing kit. I've made one of the cards already from add-on stage and it was lovely. Anyway, today's crafting. We're going to make a floating frame card because I, when I was in Auckland, I managed to pick myself up some, just grabbing it, press and seal. Be good if I, I know that's backwards. I haven't flipped the camera because then I'll have to reflip it when I flip you down. Um, and we're going to make a floating card using one of the new stamp sets and it is easier with the press and seal because of the press and seal being clear but you can use post-it notes if you want to if you could get a big post-it note that's primarily sticky that will work too so don't worry if you don't have that it's hard to get in Australia I'm surprised that I was able to so easily ish had to drive around but easily ish get it in New Zealand and but I have heard that Costco has it so I don't know if you have a Costco membership and you're Australian check it out it could be worth it I am going to flip and rotate my stand and we're going to get crafting I've done most of the prep work today so all you have to see is the technique itself Oops. Post it note stuck. There we go. Okay, so this is the stamp set. It's one of the new upcoming stamp sets I'm using. It's a photopolymer set and it's called Bloom and Grow. And it's got these gorgeous florals and some really great sentiments actually. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. How lovely is that? I think it's great. And let's celebrate you. That's a wonderful sentiment. I think we'll be using both of those today. Anyhow, so I'm cut or stamped cut and colored a whole bunch of these and I'll just bring them in I've used my favorite coloring method of a stamp and blend hey Judy thanks for joining me so if you do join in come and say hi if I don't say hi I'm sorry but I do read through all the comments afterwards and I will acknowledge it but thank you for watching I really do appreciate the company and the time taking out from your day to come and watch me and yes yeah, so I've done that I've colored stamped I've used memento ink and colored with the blends this is lovely lipstick kind of matches my nail polish flirty flamingo soft sea foam calypso coral and mango melody I just really like that combination I really like the yellow actually I wasn't sure what the orangey yellow I wasn't sure what I was going to do there and then I thought oh mango melody now to start I have a piece of whisper white oh thank you Judy I have a piece of whisper white here 
It's cut to the exact same size as a card front, so no border. Here's my Whisper White Thick card, and if I just prep that, you will be able to see that it is exactly the same size. I've tried this with a piece of cardstock that was slightly smaller, but then when I was sticking it down, you'll understand what I'm talking about later, it didn't quite align properly. So I feel like best option is, and this is just a guide, it's like a template. And what we're going to do, so for those who are joining, we're going to be doing the floating card technique that Jennifer McGuire showed and we love and press and seal, but you can use a post-it note instead. Okay, so I'm just going to start arranging really we're just gonna I wanted to spend focus more on the actual technique than the coloring today because I think you all know how we color ah <laughs> love it good Judy I'm glad you're you're on to it let's see I'm, I'm not sure if I'm happy with this layout quite yet but we'll we'll just see it's too I wanted to use large florals. I've done this already with the art set, which I will show eventually on my blog. Not quite ready to show it yet. But anyway, let's, it's just, it takes some time and thought of how you want to rearrange these, not rearrange. Well, it is rearranging, I guess now. So you just want to play around with it, see what, you like that you come up with let's see and then hi Carol thank you very much these flowers are from the upcoming stamp set bloom and grow which can be purchased by demonstrators now or from customers from the 4th of November so I'll be cutting these in this circle so I want to make sure that I like what I see in the circle part as well I thought it would be easier to do this with larger flowers. Let's see, I could be wrong. Well, that's the same piece. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's try. It kind of sits nicely into there. It's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle that has no right or wrong answer. Morning, Christy. Thanks for joining me. Hope you've had a lovely Mother's Day. Not November. Did I say November, Judy? Jeez. This is what happens when I stay up until midnight. June. 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 It'll be available in June. The stamp set, the stunning stamp set is available from the 4th of June. If I said November, I'm really, truly sorry. Um, let's try this. Do, 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 do. So basically, like, you just see what works and think and play so I could cut that I won't cut that right now <laughs> did I really say November yikes that's um so totally too long to wait <laughs> okay so that's what that would look like if I cut it there this isn't as easy as I expected with larger Images. I was kind of thinking it'd be so much better with larger images. What I'm going to do is grab my scissors because I am not going to use the full. So as not to waste, kind of waste, waste if you know what I mean, those pieces because they'll just be chopped off. Anything that won't isn't on this white part will be discarded, and I don't want to discard the full flowers. So you can trim your pieces and then you can use more of them. I'm really happy with that corner there. So I'm just going to move that out. Yep, that's, this is good. I'm liking this. Really liking this. And this is going to be that circle. So I'm like that. Let's try just, just a little bit of play. Oh, yep, this fits in much nicer. Yep, love it. Yeah. Right. 
to place maybe this one in like so and then that one can go in like so ooh, 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 I think it's working I think I've got it okay that there oh, actually let's not use that bit let's use this trimmed bit and we can use this trimmed part and then I feel like that should be ooh -hoo. okay I'm just going to trim that one yes I like I'm really happy with that and then I like the way it looks in that circle okay so the cool thing with this technique is that we're going to get two cards out of this. So I've re I've arranged it and now I've got a piece of the press and seal. Now when I press stick it you can see thank you Tanya you can see that my fingers kind of stick you can hear like when I move this finger it's not sticking but when I move the other side it's ever so slightly tacky. I would say if we compare it to a post-it note it's actually less tacky than a post-it note. Um, and it's more flexible and it is see-through so what I'm going to do is now plop that down they do slightly move underneath so before I press and seal get it press and seal ha -ha. Um, I, was gonna, I rearrange now I'm just pressing this all onto now it could stick to the grid paper but Quite easily and some of it stuck to that white cardstock doesn't matter thank you I'm glad we all are happy with the arrangement so there we go that's that now you can what I'm the idea is now I cut out a window not available in Australia Judy but you can use a post-it note so you can get really large post-it notes and you could be doing this so you won't see the see-throughness obviously with the post-it note but you can flip it and see where you're lining things up it's a bit more fiddly there is a demonstrator uh, Alyssa who says that she's done it without any of this and if you have a membership to Costco I believe that Costco sells it um, yes I'm I was kind of like umming and ahhing do I show this or not but I got the stuff and I wanted to show it. Um, so now we will be running it through our die cutting machine and I've chosen the circle which I'll place about there and you can run it with the cardstock underneath or not and I'm choosing not to because I don't really want to cut that piece of cardstock it will get cut so I'm just going to flip and take that off and now you can actually see that I stamped and didn't like some of the images so I stamped on the other side of the cardstock and used it so I'm not wasting my cardstock I keep those little scraps that have mistakes and then I use them it doesn't come through now I'll grab my plates So I'm going to pick that up. See, it just transfers it. Ooh, we're going to run into a spacing issue here. I'm just going to trim those bits so that we fit. All right. And where's that piece again? Just kind of making sure I've got it where I want it approximately. So I guess it is easier if you keep the cardstock underneath now the thing I noticed it's you will kind of need to take into consideration that if I move this up here I'm going to get a tiny piece cut here and a tiny piece here so I've just moved it down a little bit so that I'm not getting those tiny little edges perfect now I'm going to take that and die cut we don't need all of that 
and the press and seal holds it all together. So I'm now able to lift this bit up and have that for a card front. If I'm careful, I should be able to. There we go. Lift this bit and we can put that on another card. And I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to, because I didn't trim this. Now, Jennifer Maguire trims it before she puts it down, but I've decided that I don't want to do that because I then can't line it up properly. Where's my pencil? When, when you need a pencil, you can't seem to find one. Oh, come on. There. Found it. So I'm just going to use a pencil just to roughly mark where these may get cut off. So that I'm not putting dimensionals. So this is where you grab your dimensionals and definitely, definitely use your edge pieces. I don't even cut them. I just kind of rip them off there, as you could see. And then you start putting dimensionals down. I'm trying to get those straight edges on those pieces that are going to have that straight edge to kind of reinforce it. There, so I'll start with that. Oh, um, I have been told that you can buy press and seal from the American store online here in Australia. So if you really love this, that's something to check out. This is just... A little bit fiddly, but well worth it, I guarantee that. Ooh. Oh, thank you for the love, whoever shared the love. I love the love. There we go. So I'm just trying to use those straight edge pieces to never throw them out. In fact, sometimes I use them first. You can see I've started that dimensional sheet and have used the straight edges and now I'm going to go in and I'm really going to pop this up I'm going to just perhaps overkill on the dimensionals but I find that that's not a bad thing and I'm also going to start taking them off as I place them because I don't want to forget which ones I have haven't like you can check but then your fingers get stuck and just you know, gets all messy so I'm going to place and pop you can use your tool so you take your take your pick tool there and hold things down so that it's not lifting up as you go it's always a great option because otherwise I find my seat uh, Putting your finger down where you're just about to say don't put your finger down. There we go. So, like I said, I will overkill it with dimensionals, but I want this to really stand up and float. It is a floating frame card after all. Pull that one off. And because this is also fiddly, that's why I didn't want to color in the live as well at the same time. Oh, I could do with a bit more on that row there. Let's make sure that that little bit isn't sticking out from behind. This is kind of as therapeutic, not as quite as therapeutic as colouring itself. Overkill your dimensionals. <laughs> I think I might be overkilling the dimensionals here, just a tad. But I don't want it to sink. I don't want one of those pieces to floop and flop on the final product. There we go, I used a bit less on that one. And 
I've used the I'm using the guides of where I've drawn that not to put in dimensionals. Oh, don't don't stick to my fingers, please. Not the idea. Don't want it stuck to fingers. Pull that one off and this is where the small ones come in handy. Small one down there. And I'll put a small one down here. Just to really give support to that one. We're almost there. Almost there. And it needs a small one over here. Ta-da! Done. Ooh. That's right, just dropped one of the off cuts. And now this is where, this is why I haven't trimmed it essentially. Now we take our card front and we place that down and press. Let's see, I feel like I have changed a bit. So I've got, I've got it higher. I've put it a bit lower down than initially planned, but that's okay. And now we can carefully peel back the press and seal. Just, yeah, you don't want to press it in too heavily because uh, it can rip. That I have no idea how Jennifer at Maguire manages not to have a little damage. My videos are all so perfect, aren't they? Great card maker to follow if you want to really improve your skills in card making. And now we're going to flip the card and trim off the excess dropping tools. I'm going to open that up and trim that off. It's a bit of shame about these ones. But that's... So you can trim before you do all the dimensionals and that way you know. But then I found it very hard to line it up. And so that's why I've chosen to do it this way. Snip, snip, snip. And now this side. So trimming from behind just gives you a clean line to look at while you're trimming. You can trim from the front, but you don't get that same line. And there is our floating frame. I'm really happy with that. That is cool. And we'll put a sentiment in there. But before we do that, I've got a piece of soft sea foam here. And we're going to put our circle bit. So this one right there. This won't take as long. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Glad you like. So I'm just going to repeat the process. But since this is the smaller piece, it's not going to take as long so I will use my take your pick tool to hold it all down now will the big one fit yes it will yay oh I saw some thank you Carolyn I don't, uh, Caroline, thank you so much. I don't think you've watched me live before, so welcome to one of my lives. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do love sharing. It's something about sharing, crafting with other people. It just, it's just different to just doing it on your own. 
Now I'm just adding some small dimensionals so that again I am not letting pieces floop, flop, floop and flop. I'm taking off the backing because it's you can work out which pieces have backing and which ones don't, but I don't want to work that out. I'd rather get on with it. I'm just going to add a few more little ones to this piece here. Particularly to that end. This is where I should be using the Take Your Pick tool to hold it down. And last one. And now we can put this at the top. Or the, oh, it looks better on the top. So, you know, just arrange it how you'd like. And same process. Stick it down and then... Hey, Kayla. Thanks for joining me. There. So we've got two pictures out of that. Bring in that one. And now we want to put some sentiments. You're at work, sneaky, sneaky. Let's celebrate you. Oh, it doesn't quite fit that one. Let's celebrate you, but the fence one will. Hi, Vicky. Thank you, Kayla. That's perfect. And I'm going to just stamp that in black. Memento black. This block fit. Grab a bigger block. was the did get that one ready so this is memento black ink you could also use stays on right now oh thank you judy yeah. thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart oh thank you carol for sharing <laughs> thank you th what a perfect timing to be thanking everyone oh thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sharing and commenting thank you we haven't quite finished yet ladies so don't run off quite just yet um, let's celebrate you. Do we need a sentiment? What do we think? Do we want a sentiment on this one? Um, what do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion. Do we want a sentiment on this green one? Give me a thumbs up if you think a sentiment would be nice on this while I clean my ink pad. Oh, thank you for sharing, Tanya. I'm not seeing any thumbs up. Nope. Okay. I've got to vote for no. Oh, I've got love hearts and thumbs. Thumbs. Hand, hand, finger, thumb. I'm not sure if this one... I'm going to agree with you, Carolyn. No sentiment on this one. But we do need some bling this time. Oh, I do have lots. Well, we'll see. Some bling. So the final step is some bling. And I've taken to using my Take Your Pick tool as so without that. And I'm going to go with white pearls on this one. Oh, not a double there. Just putting the pearls into those down gaps so the smaller pearls on the small in the smaller kind of gaps and then in the larger gaps we'll use the larger pearls thank you Judy for sharing about here I'll put another one in there it's quite a big gap space not gap space Space. It sounds nicer than say a gap. It's like I've missed something. So we'll just add those in. Ooh. They are not cooperating, are they? Oh, of course you make case. Definitely. Please, I share to inspire and hope that you find something that you like in my work and hope to copy. And of course, this sharing brings love and don't forget if you make a card make sure you send the card to someone 
It's, um, it doesn't have to be a thank you. It could be, I will leave that one blank and it could just be a card because, it, yes, I like to ask too, Tanya, I agree. It's nice to be asked. It's very flattering someone, when someone asks if they can case your work. Um, there we go. And that just really, like I know that's a lot of pearls. <laughs> I bought so many of them. <laughs> Not last Christmas, the Christmas before I was having a class and we were colouring the pearls in and I went, ah, so many people want to do the same card and I bought so many pearls and then it's like, ah, oh, I really didn't need that many pearls. There. Really just, it fills up those areas and just really emphasises that cutout bit. Now we will put some pearls on in this one as well, but we will colour them. I'm pretty, no, that's green. So this is, no, I've gone, grabbed the wrong markers. Where are they? I was using them. Hello. Where'd they go? Maybe I was using mint macaron. Was I using mint macaron? going to totally blow my mind here. I could have sworn I was using so saffron. No, it looks like I wasn't using so saffron. I was using mint macaron. So I'm just going to color. Use the dark, not the light. Just going to color and I like to use the the brush tip for coloring. You can see most of the sheet here was coloured. Um, I think one or two of these large ones, we'll see. Ooh, there we go. That still goes nicely. So I picked, so uh, the cardstock is not so saffron. My goodness. So a uh, soft sea foam. Cardstock is soft sea foam, and I thought that's what blends I was using, but apparently not. I was apparently using the mint macaron, but again, just filling in those little gaps. And since I've coloured all of these, I will try to put them all in so that I'm not left over like I have over there. So I guess over here it will be good. There. So I, I've recently discovered it's actually quite good to have a set of cards without a sentiment so that you go, oh, I need a card. Oh, this one doesn't have a sentiment, but it fits perfectly. So there's the floating frame technique, people. Now you could use post-it notes. It is, of course, easier using the press and seal. Check out Costco. I believe they sell it. And... If you are interested in any of the products I used today, please send me a message or you can shop online. The link is in the description of this video. Today, the, what do you call it? The, Hello, uh, the paper pumpkin kit is out here worldwide, but we're lucky being in the South Pacific that with the time zone, we get it first. I have ordered and I'm offering anyone who orders the kit from me to get a class showing you how to assemble it and some alternative ideas which i'll send you the supplies for as well so if you're interested in that again send me a message or you can shop online thank you so much for watching i adore having friends and people to share my creations with and oh thank you judy i'm very pleased with how they've turned out i really like this one it's just you could just do a whole bunch just that. You don't have to do the whole works to get this bit out. But it's nice. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Sherry. Oh, hi, Leone. And uh, you've caught the tail end. I'm just saying goodbye. So I'm sorry. But you can watch the replay. And these are the cards that we created today. I did the floating card technique. Floating frame. Hello, you caught me. But just a little bit late. I'm saying goodbye. Okay, thank you so much everyone for watching and have a marvellous week. Oh, thank you Vicky. 
Bye for now.